Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Republic of Sicily. In the last episode we just took the last county that we needed from France up here, uh, which only leaves us with these three counties remaining to take from the Byzantines. We also were looking at our uh, succession here because our current rival is... our current heir, who is also our rival, is pretty old, so if he was to uh, inherit, then we'd end up with a second succession again very quickly, which is not really good for business. Um, so I've been trying to assassinate this guy first of all, and maybe we'll try and assassinate a few more, or plot to kill rather, since the assassinate button is gone. But I kind of use the terms interchangeably anyway. In fact, the assassinate button isn't even gone in this version of the game, but it's very expensive and I never like to use it much anyway, so we'll just ignore it and pretend it's gone. Um, our plot should succeed pretty soon, though it's now over 200%. The cook complained to me about my son's temper tantrums. I'll try and get him to be more patient. Well, we didn't. I can righteously imprison somebody. Well, no, that's fine. I don't really care what she's up to. Still no. My kinswoman died of depression. Oh, very sad. My eager courtship of a certain lady has gotten me nowhere. Um, alright, well, let's try... Let's try poetry. We could just re or execute this guy. Lowers, only lowers people's um, opinion by 10. Probably don't have any serious vassal problems. I'd have to imagine. We don't even have any duke level vassals. We should probably create some at some point. Sure, I'm just going to tyrannically execute him. Um, execute imprisoned, there we go. So his successor is considerably less prestigious, or less respected, which is good. Uh, the next best guy is this Rufo character. A tall mastermind theologian. So let's see if we can... Well, apparently I succeeded with my plot, even though I uh, didn't really. This guy apparently is going to be easy to kill. Alright, tie it is nice. Uh, we probably aren't going to need this amount of money, even if we have to go to war with the full might of the Byzantines, so let's upgrade some more trade posts. getting more of them fully upgraded, which is good for our income. Okay. Upgrade that. And we're back at the start, okay. My attempts to make her mine have been to no avail. She is as frosty as the Lord of Winter himself. Of course, let's not give up, I guess. I don't even know who I'm courting, to be honest with you. Okay. The Emperor really likes us, though. Alright. A poisonous viper. That sounds good. to evade it. Okay. Uh, we can righteously imprison this guy. Uh, 
and I guess take his county and keep it for ourselves. I don't know if there's a good reason to do that, unless we wanted to give away a different county. I suppose we could do. You give this one away to a city vassal. Hmm, maybe we will do that, actually. Try to imprison this guy. Unfortunately, we succeeded. And... Even banish him for 390 gold. Oh, let's just release him. That's fine. And we can't imprison him again, unfortunately. Not really a big deal anyway. I succeeded with my plot. He was completely vaporized in a manure explosion. Which probably does constitute suspicious circumstances now that you mention it. So his successor is much worse, so that's good. Let's move on to this guy. Another unpopular man, it seems. The crickets are chirping and singing quite loudly tonight, more so than usual. Let's gain piety. Alright, poisoned wine. These garrisons we've been building, they might have increased my retinue cap, uh, which I should probably check out. Yeah, we have a lot of space for retinue, and we can certainly afford it, so let's build a couple more cataphracts. And... I don't know, what else do we have here? We'll build another pikeman and a heavy infantry or shock retinue, a couple of those, and finish it up with skirmish retinues. Seems good. Great, I succeeded with my plot. He died not knowing the name of his killer. Um, okay, so. If we can kill this guy, I am, and his successor is below about 2,000, then I'd probably be okay to switch my heir to my son as soon as he comes of age, whenever that is. Who has my daughter imprisoned? Moldova? Yeah, okay. So we'd have to wait a few years for him, unless we have any other good members of our dynasty that I would be willing to appoint as my heir. Guess we don't have a lot of adult male family members at court, do we? We could probably afford to have more of for the trade post limit they would give us. Well, okay. We'll just have to wait for my son in that case. My court chaplain died, so we'll appoint, appoint this guy in his place. Um, I think he was converting a province over here. Uh, this one's converted already, so let's send him here. Um, I don't still have levies raised, do I? That's just from before. No, I don't. Okay. The kitchen is a truly wonderful place. Um, so my son has an 80% chance of becoming brave, which would be nice, but he could also become 
gluttonous or craven. Or we could give him an 80% chance of becoming gluttonous. Well, that's a pretty obvious choice. He's brave. Uh, my truce with Milan is expiring. Well, that's okay. I don't need anything else from them. One of my courtiers seems to be sad. When I asked why, I learned that their favorite horse was very ill and unlikely to survive. I remember this steed was a fine specimen, worthy of honor and praise, who, for, who brought its master much prestige and joy. Her opinion increases of me. So that's nice. Okay, my daughter is of legal age. Unfortunately, she can't inherit. What are our chances of killing the Emperor? Not very good. Where is heir? Oops. We can kill him. So let's do that. If we can cause him a problematic succession, that would be great. Uh, the right of way. The port in Amalfi is particularly busy today, but you have decided to, to take a small trip on one of your family's galleys and have no intention of cancelling your plans. Your captain skillfully guides the ship through the jumble of merchant vessels and towards the open sea. You have nearly left the harbour when another galley flying musco colours recklessly cuts in front of you. The two galleys collide with the sound of splintering wood, but with the exception of several broken oars, there doesn't seem to be any serious damage to either ship. On the deck of the musco galley, Prince Bishop Sergio, screams obscenities at you and accuses you of trying to ram his ship on purpose. He demands the right of way to leave the port before you. Okay, we can try to sink his precious ship or we can lose prestige. Well, come on now. I don't think there's really a choice here. Battle is joined. Your ship is ready for battle and Prince Bishop Sergio immediately responds in kind. Bowmen take a position at the railing and hails of flaming arrows are soon exchanged between the ships. Nearby merchant vessels hurry to distance themselves from the jewel, and as furious battle continues, both galleys drift out of the harbour and far out to sea. The rigging of the Musco galley has caught fire, but you have little time to celebrate this victory as your own ship is taking on water. A savage boarding action unfolds as both crews fight to escape their equally doomed ships. When the smoke settles, both galleys have slipped beneath the waves, and you and Sergio are desperately clutching the same piece of flotsam, shouting, issue, uh, shouting insults at each other. Okay. So we are going to drift aimlessly on the sea. Uh, we drift on the sea for what seems like days until you and the Prince Bishop are finally picked up by a passing galley. Your relief at being rescued is short-lived, however, when the grinning captain announces to his crew, looks like the spider just caught a couple of flies. To the sound of cracking whips and a steady drumbeat, you and Sergio are chained and put to work as oarsmen, along with the other slaves on the pirate galley. The hours pass in a haze as you toil at the oars, and you are nearly at the point of passing out when Sergio shares his water ration with you. He receives a severe whipping for this, but as the guards are busy with him, you notice that one of the links in the, your rusty chains looks ready to snap. The ship is passing close to the shore and you could probably make it. So I could um, abandon Prince Bishop Sergio to his fate and save myself. I mean, I do want to kill this guy. <laughs> I'm literally plotting to kill him as we speak. No, I'm not. I'm plotting to kill the Byzantine Emperor, but... I should be plotting to kill this guy. He shared his water ration with me, but that's just a sign of weakness, really. I'm gonna lead him to his fate. Call me ruthless, but there you go. So, his successor is much less respected. He died in prison. Well, sort of. Um, okay, so... Now, once my son comes of age, I'm probably going to be okay to appoint him as my designated heir and be able to buy the election, which would be nice. I'll just leave my other heir in charge for the moment, though, since uh, an underage character cannot inherit the Republic. Okay, so this is the um, heir to the... Byzantine Empire, who we are murdering now, hopefully. No, no, not my type. And we finished our hedge maze. So let's go ahead and get something else built. Uh, 
Uh, sure, let's build our dungeon complex. I succeeded with my plots, but the carpenter revealed my involvement. Alright, well, I'm not too concerned about that. So he still has an adult heir. Oh, this is seniority succession. Well, no wonder he has an adult heir. He's pretty much always going to have an adult heir, probably. And he can still try to kill a few more people. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. Hmm. Well, I don't really like my chances of being able to destabilize them with that succession law. How's his military strength? 25k currently. That's not incredibly strong. We're at 16, almost 17. Which I think doesn't even include my retinue. Today I'm visiting some of the local peasants. Inquiring about their farming practices, one of the peasant men told me about how they are debating the usage of various fertilizers. My lord, frankly, I'm not sure which one would help yield a better harvest, urine, feces, or dead plants. So don't talk such rosh, you filthy peasants. Um, we could try for urine, feces, or dead plants. Let's, uh, let's say dead plants, so we could gain just prestige, I guess. All right. So, I suppose if we were just going to declare a war, it would be a reasonable time to do it. He's involved in another war right now. So he may be somewhat distracted. We could raise close to his number of troops, definitely more, uh, if we were to also hire mercenaries. Uh, the Despot of Dukia. Where is that? Is it here? Okay. Um, I'll decline that. I don't need to be allied with a uh, with a vassal of the Byzantines. That's not going to help me out. Okay, more tech. And sure, let's just go ahead and declare a war over here. I'm just going to do the du jour county claim, I think, rather than um, give the claimant I invited land and press his claim just yet. If, uh, assuming I win the county, I'll probably grant it to him, unless I'm vassalizing the current holder. Grant it to the claimant, I mean, and then press his claim in a second war. Just because it'll work out a little neater and he won't end up with land outside of his rightful duchy. So, yeah, let's go and get this started. Unfortunately, we still can't declare this war, but the CB remains in the list here just to, just to tease me, I guess. We'll take the digital claim on Croton, though. Okay, and we will... I guess call in my ally, why not? And for the moment I'll just raise my normal levies. Maybe we'll just gather here for the moment. Yeah, he doesn't have any troops to raise in his lands here, so that's good. Um, I will actually transport these troops over from Malta for once. Since they might actually be relevant in this war.
And we will probably just hold off on hiring any mercenaries for the moment yeah, until we see whether it's actually necessary or not. So we fulfilled our ambition to convert a province, excellent. Let's see if we gain even more learning. And we do. Is that just a definite increase in learning? I could have sworn it was only a chance, but we seem to have gotten it every time. And we do still have another province to convert down here, I think. So I'll send my chaplain over to do that and take the ambition to convert a province again. But we're just out of time for this episode, so uh, thanks for watching, and join me again next time where we will continue this war against the Byzantine Empire.